So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to go ahead and hook up external storage to the Walmart ONN 4K streaming box. So stay tuned, I'll show you what you need, show you how to set it up. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. So today, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and add some external storage to the ONN streaming box. The whole thing is it already has eight gigabytes of storage, but a lot of people like to download a lot of things, games and all that, that they like to play on the ONN box. So they need some more storage. So what you need is an OTG cable, which you'll see in the description down below. You could go ahead and click on it. There's a link where you could buy it. No extra cost to you, small commission to the channel, and it does help out to bring some more videos. Just like if you're looking for a device, look in my description also below. A couple of different links in there for different devices. Click on the link, no extra cost to you as always. Small commission to the channel, and again, it does help out to keep bringing videos to you. So what you wanna do is go ahead and take your OTG cable, and hook it up onto your device first, but do not apply the USB flash drive yet. That will do a little bit later after we go through some settings. So right now I'm gonna go ahead, take my OTG cable and hook it up to the device and we'll be right back. So right now I got my OTG cable plugged into the ONN device. We're just waiting for it to boot up. Then we could go through some settings and do what we need to do so we can hook up our flash drive. So once the system has rebooted, you are on the home screen. Let's go over to the right. Let's go where to the gear is. Click on it. Wait for it to go ahead and change the screen. And then you want to go down to where it says system. Go over to the right. Let's go down to about. Go over to the right again. And then you want to go down to where it says Android OS build. Go ahead. If you don't have developer options already, go ahead and just click on this several times. Right now you can see it says no need to because I'm already a developer. I already have mine set up from other videos that I have brought to you. So being that I already have it set up, just go ahead, click on that back button. So once you get developer options, you go to system, go over to the right, developer options, go over to the right again, and you want to scroll down. Now if this is highlighted, US be debugging. If that's highlighted, you want to go ahead and turn it off because what happens is once your system reboots itself, it's not going to go ahead and recognize your external drive. Now what we need to do is go ahead and scroll down some more. Go down to where it says force allow apps on external. Go ahead and turn it on. Once you turn it on, go ahead and click on that home button on your remote. Now let's go ahead and take our flash drive and hook it up to our OTG. So after the USB drive is inserted into the slot for the USB on the OTG cable, you got to get a message when you go over to the right to the gear. It says USB drive. Then what you need to do is go ahead and select it so you could go and set it up. So let's go ahead. Let's go down. Highlight it. Click that enter button and let's go and select it. Now what you want to do is go down to where it says set up as device storage. Go ahead and click that enter button. Go down one more time, click the enter button onto format. So that way the drive is formatted for the ONN streaming device. Let's give that a few seconds and we'll come right back. Once it has finished formatting, then it comes up to where it says move now or move later. Go ahead and click that enter button on move now. Let it move all the items that you have on your box over to external storage. As you can see, mine went pretty fast. I don't have a lot on here yet because this is still fairly new to box and I've just been using it to bring you some videos. Haven't really loaded anything up on it as of yet. But now what you wanna do is back onto the home screen, go over to the gear, click onto the gear. Then what you need to do is go down to where it says system, go over to the right, Let's go down to where it says storage. And here you can see where there's the USB drive and the internal storage of the device itself. 
the USB drive that I'm using right now. It's not that large. It's only for demonstration purposes. So it's only a four gig uh, hard drive, or you could say a flash drive. Let's go ahead and click that home button on our remote. So one of the best apps that you want to go ahead and always have on your system that we're going to do right now, and we're going to show how it goes automatically to the external storage. Let's go ahead and get downloader. So on your remote is the microphone. You want to hold it down, open Google Play Store. Give that a few seconds and it will open it up automatically for us. Once it opens it up, once it opens up Google Play, hold down on the microphone again, downloader. Give that a few seconds to go ahead and search itself. Here it is right now on the apps. Click on the enter button. Let's go ahead and get downloader. Click on the enter button again and let's install. Give that a few seconds. Once it's finished installing, let's go ahead and just click on open. Let's go ahead and just finish setting it up right away. Go ahead, click the allow, then click OK. Now let's click that home button on our remote. Once you're back onto the home screen, go over to the right, click on settings. Let's go down to where it says apps. Then go over to the right, go down to where it says see all apps. Go back over to the right again and downloader. Here you can see downloader was added to our USB drive. So a lot of the apps now that you go ahead and you download are going to automatically go right to your USB drive. But remember, don't overload your USB drive else it's gonna slow down and then slow down your system. Click that home button on your remote. If you like what you are seeing, click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. This way you know when I put up some more videos. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna go ahead and add some storage to the ONN 4K streaming box. Remember, it already has eight gigabytes of storage. So let me know if you need more storage on your device. I always like to know. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.